All right, put the lettering first and then I'll go from there. Be you were then you, right? Man, like, I found out today is like, I need to slow down a little bit more and just be just a little bit braver today than I was yesterday. And shout out to my mom, as I never knew exactly, God put me with her. And I don't mean that in a bad way. What lesson was she trying to teach me? Amongst the other things she taught me, but the biggest lesson was she is probably the most bravest person I've ever met. And I think that it took me this long to figure that out. So shout out to her. Now this, this, this question, right? Be you -er than you. You have to lean into your weird, basically, right? The weirdness is what's actually attracting people into your life because they see your authenticity. And I try to be that as much as I can. Anything I do, I try to be like, I either love it or it just feels right to go in that direction. So I'm gonna keep doing these. Like I, this is like my calling. It's, it's like what I was put here to do. So uh, I'm gonna keep doing it and just try to do my best. So I think everybody has like a special, special power thing that they, they only know how to do. It's, my thing is doing art and spirituality, basically anything that has to do with kind of self-improvement. And I found the key word to be about it because I didn't never knew what it was, but I was doing an exact practice basically. And I didn't know I was doing it until I started doing some research and ChatGPT helped me out a couple times. And it was something called somatic art. And basically I go around feeling different parts of my body and I put that onto the canvas. If you didn't know, this is cardboard. Here we go. So we'll start, I gotta go back a little bit to, so I can see like the whole picture, but this felt right to talk about this one topic. Kinda just, I can't express this enough. Just keep doing what makes you happy. Be the weirdest you you can be. All right, cool. So first one is oil pastels, Crayola, you're killing it. You killed it with this one. I feel they have good pigment. They have good glide and you know they're really fun to just play with so i think they get an a for a for effort so let's start with some clouds and right now i'm feeling that in the back of my legs so trying to how to help you guys a little bit but also still have fun and still play so i'm gonna cake these in i'm just trying to look for an outline kind of like it will present itself I'm feeling anything else i think i'm just gonna cake them in basically i got my trusty yo-yo today i love that thing i've been finding that like I don't know if this is how the world is set up or what, but I'm finding that like all the stuff I used to love as a kid, man, I just been more drawn to it, just kind of called to it. And honest to God, this is probably what I would be doing anyways if I was a young kid, you know, like 13 year old Jonathan. Just kind of embrace your weird, guys. It's the best advice I can get you. I think I'm also gonna do a little a little shading today. Wow, never thought I'd do that, but gotta practice my craft somehow. But still have fun. I broke it. Farewell. <laughs> I'll never see that again. When I do the clouds. I kind of do this like weird popcorn shape. Like all the all the things kind of go into the middle. Like, whoop. You know, and then this, you know. Make sure that like it always looks like it's like going into the middle. That's how the clouds in my world look like. Whoop, whoop. Like I said, I'm gonna do some shading later for right now, but it was a calling. I've been watching Pirates of the Caribbean with my kids lately. It's been fun. And if you didn't know, I love movies just in general. Not because, not because like, oh, there's nothing else to do. I used to work in the film industry and I genuinely love movies and making them. You see how much money and work it takes and to be able to do that repeatedly, to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars repeatedly so you can continuously make movies is just not something I could do yet. <laughs> Because I don't want to just make one movie, I want to make multiple movies. I know the funds will be there one day, one day soon, and maybe I'll go back. You know, I'm not saying that I'm a master filmmaker, but it does make me happy. I'll try it with the help of the people, it's not just me. That's, the, that's another thing I liked about the film industry, it's like, you really learned how to work as a group. Not just one person making it, you know, it's like, like eight different... eight different like categories, like very strong categories. Like you have sound, you have uh, camera, you have um, 
wardrobe, makeup, um, stunts. Like you have all these groups kind of come together and it's not just one person. It is teams of like nine or 10 people. And then you go do this job all together and you have to communicate well with each other. So I think that's what I like about that. I know that was a spiel, but shows you teamwork. <laughs> yeah, dad. <laughs> Love it. So I am going to rub this creamy shit off my fingers. Hot to LaCroix. Delicious. Yeah, dad. So I'm going to put some shading up in this mother. I never do this. I don't know why. I kind of like just very solid. I think if the, the pictures just show you exactly what it should be, like right away, it shouldn't need details to tell the story a little bit more. It should be just very like, just in your face. But today, we're gonna try something different. I'm gonna do some shading. The main reason I liked film, or why I got into film was for lighting. I love lighting. Like I love, if you do, if you've ever done a camera thing or anything like that, like, man, good stuff. Lighting. Cool, that looks cool to me. You can kind of tell, I need some white over here. Cool, you're gonna have, like I think the highlights, you can't go wider than white so, but you can kind of shape it so it looks like, like I said, I, I'm, not, I'm no master at this, but I'd rather give some people some tips than no tips, right? Play the damn game. <laughs> Help your other friends, you know? Your fellow friends and shit. Do something, you know? I think that it's taken me this long to realize that I'm already doing a good job. To be brave and be able to go in front of cameras and do what you love in front of a lot of people is brave. And it took me this long to kind of figure that out. You know, just share with the world, add value to the world, do whatever, but try to do your part, you know? Fucking just do something. And I think this is my, my two cents in the world and all that shit. Like I said, just go over it, especially if, it, if, it, if it's supposed to look like it's going behind something, like, do a little ditty like that. Oh, that you know, just like that. That's cool. You're supposed to just have, be having fun when you when I'm doing this, right? Like, that's the whole point of this. Yeah, I should be like trying to add value, but I'm also playing, and I'm not just trying to make it just work, work, work. It's like I should be having fun, but also still adding value to or giving you some to some type of value, something, right? You know? I don't feel feel like I'm doing both. So make sure you remember your shape and shit. Yeah, Dad. Like what I mean is like make sure you know where kind of like the flow of everything is like I know that all my things are going inward and so you're not making blue lines and it kind of distorts what you're trying to do so there is no right or wrong way to do this <laughs> just do what the fuck you you know what makes you happy I said lean into your weird I'm gonna stand back I'm gonna play some yo-yo for a hot second because why not never done a volcano so let's I think that's where I'm going now, so yeah, let's draw a volcano. Check it. Ooh, I feel a little bit. It's gonna be good. I got this. Feel that? Felt on the back of my leg. Okay, other leg. Oh, not too much. That's it. <laughs> I'm done. Just joking. You guys ever seen a, a volcano rainbow? <laughs> We're about to. Just scribbling, everybody. I'm actually doing something right here. It's going through my whole body. I would stop, but I can't. That's the whole point of this. Oh, it wants me to color the whole background? No. Oh, oh we're almost done. Oh, okay, that was it. Cool. All right, still doing the rainbow, though. Here. Oh, we're going to the crown, baby. Oh, oh, maybe it's not too, it doesn't need to be potent. It doesn't need to be potent. Okay, that's it. Too much across the line. Getting somewhere. It's gonna be a thing. Good ass LaCroix. Mama wizard. See, you don't need a lot to get your story across. Okay, what else we got? Got some orange. Ooh, ooh. Orange is gonna be nice. Oh, cause you know where it's going. Oh, and I broke the pen. And we're still going. That was nice. Oh, let me show the camera. Okay, you guys, my Twitch people, see that shit? You totally see that shit. That's my volcano. Going on to the pink one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. That was crazy. I felt that on my, sh felt that on my shoulder. That was beautiful. Cool. Well, that's random, but we're gonna do it. So I'm going by a feeling. You know, let's. Uh, I just let it kind of guide me. I don't like 
steer it either. It's like going down a, well, you kind of do steer it when you go down a river. But a lazy river, yeah, it's like a lazy river. You don't steer yourself, like you're not always steering yourself on a lazy river, right? You're just kind of floating. But once in a while you steer off course and you're like, whoop, you know, you just kind of like paddle your way back to the metal. So. Like that. Okay, now I think I need to stand back. Okay. It's random, but I'm gonna go with it. This is what I mean by the mystery in doing this art. No, that's wrong. <laughs> There's mystery things I put in my art. <laughs> that's what I meant. And only me, the artist, knows what it means. If you ever see me again and you see this painting, then you can ask me and I will tell you. And so now I think I understand what I'm body scanning my whole body. <laughs> We're gonna get these words out, don't worry about it. Okay, so once again, it's just simple feelings out on paper. And you kind of search around on where the paper, kind of where it feels right. There you go. Like I said, I'm gonna keep looking through my body, kind of searching everything, make sure. Because then at the end of it, I'm at least 90% sure it will appeal to me at least. And like I said, that's half the battle. That will probably get you further than being like, will the masses love this? Oh yeah, Pasca, where you at, yo? Pasca Pinks is pretty hot too. Pasca, yeah, uh, where am I looking? <laughs> All right, so right here, beautiful. <laughs> Nailed it. Cool, let me show the camera. Twitch stream. Dog, you. Instagram, you did it again. Deleted my thing because you heard Bob Marley in the background. Not my fault. How am I supposed to dance? All right, well, there goes that. I guess there's no point. I mean, I was on for 20 minutes. That's, that's good enough. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Fuck that shit. Never give up. Never give up. Try this again. So, Instagram kicked me off because I heard music. What if? I'm cool with it, kinda. I mean, we're not done, clearly, but we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna do things to this. What up, Brian? How you doing? Shout out, homie. See, I've been flirting with the different ideas. Now I'm thinking that this could be anybody. This could just be my wife. If this is my wife, I would be like, do you like it? <laughs> and she'd probably say, you did this wrong. But I love her to death. And I love you to death. I'm gonna do the back there, and we're gonna do it silver? No. Yes? Silver it is. Silver is, is amazing. The silver is like, oh, it's kind of stuck. Interesting. We're gonna get through this though. Sometimes you just gotta feel your pain. Oh, hoo, hoo. all right, going down my leg. See that little ditty? Felt that in the back of my leg, like right behind, like my kneecap. And this is where that somatic art kind of pops in, right? All you're doing is trying to get the emotion, no feelings, in your body onto. You know, canvas. Um, clearly, this is not canvas. It's art. <laughs> it's cardboard. And I'm trying not to like talk too much, but I'm also trying to add value. So I'm hoping throwing in both. So and I think we're gonna do a little bit of green. Did I already do green? I already did green. So let's do a little bit of dark green. Da -da -da. Okay, so we're gonna do. Ooh, I felt it as soon as I got to it too. As soon as I got to that board. Damn. So, and it's gonna be subtle. It's gonna be one of those things that like, people are like, what does that mean? I'll be like, that's my kneecap. <laughs> do some body scanning, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go look at the bigger picture. Okay, it wants me to do something right in here. Right in here. Chalk? See, I don't like doing using, I guess I could use chalk, but then you have to spray it with hairspray and it's just like, Wah. Wah. We are gonna do, what are we gonna do? Okay, we're gonna do it with pen, right? Yes, we are. Damn, we're on a green mood today, boys. Posca green, this light green. It's delicious. See, maybe I should. Next time, I don't think I'm gonna go live next time. I think it's the end of live. Only because like, I'd rather do live when I'm just like doodling. There's something there. I don't know, I feel like I could do better with my lives. Just kind of like, just do doodling, I guess my, in my doodle book. <laughs> in my noodle poodles. Okay, here we go. Oh, it wants to be subtle. Mr. Twitch. In my doodle book. <laughs> you see that? You can't see that. Yeah, you can see that. Ooh, look at those wings. Volcano, okay, there you go. Great. I thought of a great idea for my chair, so I'm gonna go paint that real fast. In my doodle book. Okay, I had a 
I had a moment with my chair for a second. So, like I said, you can kind of get these stuck feelings in your body out in any medium. That's the good part, right? It's like, you know, I just went to a chair and I colored it. But as I was coloring it, I was also feeling like the tension in my shoulders. And as I was painting, I kind of let that out onto it. And then now it's stuck on the chair, of course, but at least it's not on me, right? It's a wild chair. It is in my doodle book. It is my throne. Or maybe I post it later. Who knows? I don't know. I post random things. Do some things in here. Oh, oh, we're just gonna go with it. I'm feeling this like in my, my back, basically. Okay, we're gonna do that. And now the other side. See, I can feel it in my back. You can kind of see me hunch over a little bit. I'm like, so, that's it. I think it's kind of unstuck itself. Yeah, it's a, you know, sometimes it's very subtle little things. You know, can you see that? You can kind of see that. It's like scribbles, you know, and it's, you know, that's all it is. It's just like little scribbles. And as I scribbled that in my doodle book, released itself. So, um, you know, I do <laughs> I see a lot of very dark art from, like, I've been, you know, like I said, I've been doing deep dive on this thing called somatic art. So, but when I went on there, I just saw like the darkest things and I was like, God damn, I can show you that it doesn't always have to be dark. Sometimes it could be light, right? Use the colors of, it's a light color, I don't know, shit. Throw some color in some blur, um, you know? It doesn't always have to be dark and gloom. Even though you may feel that, doesn't mean you can't express it in a different manner. Ooh, that's nice, I got something. As I did that, so I drew a flower, right? As I drew the flower, I went up the other side of my back, to like the right side of my back, upper, right below the shoulder blade. And like I said, there were some stuck things there. And I think that that, even if you just help just a little, it may only help a little bit. Doing that every day, compounding at 1%, like that's a heap of a lot better than just sitting there and doing nothing, right? And even looking at it, like I still feel it in my back and it may not go away today. And I'm not, you should never try to bum rush this stuff out. Like, you know, you have to get out. No, you just like, kind of like a lazy river. It's like, you just sit on a tube. Eventually you do veer left or right, but the whole time you're not like, oh, you know, trying to stay in the middle. Like you just kind of lay there and go down wherever you need to be going. So top key I could ever give you is like, sometimes you're too close to your paintings all the time, but step back sometimes you can see, make sure you stay on course. Things up here. As I'm doing this, like, I can feel it in the back of my head, kind of, so I'm gonna keep going until I get to a feeling of like, okay, it's back to balance, basically. I guess that's a good word, back to balance. It's pretty potent, man. That is some potent ass shit. I like that. Um, it may be filling this in, I don't know. We'll see where it takes us, right? I almost wanna go over this right a little bit more. I think I'm gonna, oh, maybe not. Doesn't seem like it wants me to. Oh, but it does on this side a little bit. Nope, nope, oh, that's interesting. Hold on, I'm just feeling something out. Throw some some light pink in this uh, cloud right here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. Just a little bit, you know? Shit doesn't always have to be dark and gloomy and crap. This is the kind of stuff like you would, you would never see on camera, but like when you see it in person, you'd be like, oh, Shit, that is good. You're like you did try. Yeah, you, can't, you can't even tell on camera. All right. Oh, it's yelling at me. Ooh, baby, this is nice. Okay. Oh, what the? <laughs> okay. Yep, there it is. Definitely a thing now. Thought it'd be more. All right. Sometimes it's just a little bit, you know. All it was was like a little piece of grass right there. Yeah, I'll show you literally a tiny piece of grass and like that's all I needed you know sometimes it's not extensive extensive uh, drawing or design or coloring you know Maybe it's, it's like a very little thing sometimes that just pushes us over the edge where you're just like ah oh, I do feel a little bit better right okay back of the neck so this side yes, the right side all the way up but this is a little too far this is yeah that could do it um, moving over, okay, cool, 
And I'm just kind of going over the fate. Like this, this is now my, my little body. <laughs> so I'm just kind of scanning everything and making sure it's, it's feeling right. This needs some silver. See, that's all it needed. I felt like a little bit of release. Just, I think it's very, yeah, it's definitely very subtle. Once again, needs a little bit sometimes, you know, like, and these are little touches that you don't see on the camera. Like you have to see it in person and be like, oh, well, it does kind of look kind of cool. So and I think I will have like a, I don't think, can you see that? You can kind of see that. So that right there, you know, wants us a little bit black right here. That's it. See the little black mark? I'm just following it up right here. And now I'm just going over like the finer details, right? Like once you hit the main marks where you're like, oh, I do feel my hand, you know? Like you feel your hand or you feel like the bigger parts of things. Like, oh, my biceps, I feel my biceps, right? You can always feel your biceps, always and forever. Now feel the rest of your body. <laughs> yeah, then that's when you started going just a little bit deeper, right? You know, now you're like, oh, let me feel my toes. What do my toes feel like right now, you know? And that's when you go into like the nitty gritty. And usually it's like just subtle feelings. And you try to express them through this. You know, this is, I think this is doing enough for both, to be honest. You see, just going over this is like, I can feel it in the back of my leg, so. And then this goes up here, and here. Everything else is kind of loosening up. Uh, this guy will just stay there. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's very good to just stand back and just look at the grander picture. <laughs> Finally, we get to the fire. Okay, so, why don't I have yellow? Finally, the fire! fire I'm gonna use I never like oh uh, you said just go mind feeling use this kind of greenish color green yellow this is how my hands feel right now it's just like this kind of mishmash of like oh yeah 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 but for the, all cases this is lava and for the storytelling in this picture this is lava you gotta put little things like so people think oh that's just fire <laughs> You know, like, see, storytelling 101. Oh, I think that's it, man. Are we done? Nope. Oh, something in my foot. Something blue in my foot. Just a little, little ditty right here. Sometimes it's just very subtle things. See, and I use this dark blue, this blue green, you know, to just slightly over here in the corner. And Gave me a good amount of release. I am feeling something in my eyeballs right now. Holy man. You know, I think it takes, you have to be brave to kind of do your thing and have people watch. So I think we're done. That's, I'm feeling my whole body right now. I'm back to balance. I think that's a good, like, I think that's a good way to put it. This helps you get back to balance. It's the best I can give you. So and just remember not to overdo it sometimes. Another thing, like as an artist, you should know when to walk away and be like, this is done, all done. So I think I'm just gonna write my name on it, Kelly Clarkson, that's it, we're done. Wow, this is like hemorrhaging red. That's it, kids. Thank you again, we just wanted fun. This might be my last time for a little bit, only because I am having a baby any moment now. Yay, me! So, I, and we're, we're excited, so third boy that's it thank you good night